Hey Aaron, my name is Olivier, I'm 15 years old and I live in Belgium and I, I need help with my kickflips. So I got all my basic tricks down on the new list, I got the ollie down pretty well. Can jump really high and jump over stuff. I got a few uh, few clips. I, I filmed just quick. Show them. Awesome man, so thanks for sending your video, looks really great. Love the sound of those bricks over there in Belgium. So yeah, your ollies look good. I like that you're ollieing over things and you're ollieing with speed. That is awesome. I got my pop shots down as well. Pretty good. I can land them every time. Almost every time. Uh, my 180s aren't the best, but uh, the front side 180 I get down pretty well. But um, the back side isn't the best. I can do the most stuff. Uh, my heel flip is uh, also pretty, uh, pretty good. I can do it off stuff, but what I really need help is with my kick flip. So this is how I place my foot, my left foot on the balls, and my right foot on the back of the toe, on the on the on the tail. And I, I can't flick it. That's my big problem. I can't flick it. As you can see, I tried to flick it, but it's not working. I did a little bit of a flick there, but just not not that much, and I really need help. So, would appreciate if you um, told me what I'm doing wrong and how I can make my flicks flick better, because I re really want to learn. Thanks for um, watching my video. Awesome, your heel flip was amazing. I'm surprised that you're having problems on the kick flip like this. But let's see what we got. So that one, yeah, your toe slides up. And you just didn't quite pop your foot off of the edge. Let's see, I have a lot of attention on your back foot. What is your back foot doing? On that one, you just kind of popped your back foot back and off, which is totally fine. It's actually a great way to practice. I'm very curious, I know you can't answer this, but I'm very curious to see if you've ever stood still and just practiced just sliding your foot up the board over and over and over and over. So watch my front foot, it slides up, but then right here, you'll see my ankle pop up. It's that pop up of the ankle that actually causes that board to flick and spin like that right underneath you. And then your back foot is just, oh, just happens to be there. And then you catch it and land and roll away like a boss. But the, the thing of it is, is you got to stand still and drag that toe up the board Stand there for 10 minutes. Have your friends be like, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? It looks so dumb. Who cares? Stand just like this and drag your foot up like that. And I want you to wear your shoes out. Don't actually put a hole in them just doing this. But definitely on the kickflips, you're going to put a hole in your shoe pretty quick. So use the same part of your shoe that I am right here and just practice that over and over and over and over and over. You cannot practice that drag enough. Because actually what's happening on your, on your foot is that you're not actually dragging your foot up like you are when you do the ollie. When you do the ollie, your foot drags up the board and it's actually catching from your, your shoe is catching on your grip tape. And when you do the kickflip, your toe slides up and off, but your toe is just kind of gliding over it. It's not catching onto the grip tape like you were on the ollie. Otherwise, you would have that flick. So that's basically the simplicity of it. You're just going to stand still and drag that foot up the board over and over and over. And at first, practice stepping off your back foot and just getting the flick. And then once you have the rotation of the flick, then you'll be able to put the pieces together and put that back foot back on there. Cool. So for any of you guys looking to master any of these basic tricks or any of the more difficult tricks, Check out the Skateboarding Made Simple digital downloads. They're available on the website, BrailleSkateboarding.com.